Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Cardio Complex Blast Workout. This is a cardio workout where we're gonna get our heart rates up and we'll get our muscles working hard, but we are going to incorporate some equipment. So we'll have a body weight round, we'll use one dumbbell, one kettlebell, and mini bands. If you don't have any equipment, just keep it all body weight. Go light to medium if you can, and of course, I'll give you lots of options. Are you ready? Let's do it. Go ahead and just start moving your body. So let's just march or jog, whatever you need to do to get your heart rate up. This is a mostly standing workout, but we are gonna have our first circuit to be our warm-up circuit. So we are going to get three minutes of a warm-up once we get our blood flowing and our heart rate up. So we're gonna get it done with a warm-up circuit to get everything moving. That's gonna be a complex in itself. And then we will have a dumbbell round, a kettlebell round, and a band round. So let's just take the arms here and up. Within that, again, we'll just be using one weight on those weighted rounds. If you wanna keep it body weight, you can. And if you want to go lighter or heavier, it is all what you need today. You know I always say it, be where you are today and work to your level. I want you to be challenged, but in a way that works for you. All right, so body weight warm up round. A few things where we're going down onto the mat, but mostly standing. And then most of our exercises within our complex are standing, or I will give you options to keep them standing, all right? So we're going to take it for exercises, eight or four, depending on what the exercise is, reps, and then you will go through. So it's a little bit like an AMRAP or an EMOM or a superset circuit. The idea being that, let's reach out right here, that we do one after the other after the other. So usually when we're talking about a complex, we're talking about one piece of equipment that you never put down. You just go one and the other. Our first one will be body weight and then we will do the same with that piece of equipment. Of course, if you need to put that piece of equipment down, you can, let's reach it right here. All right, so our warm up round, I want you to go ahead and just step touch right here. Our warm up is gonna be cardio mobility and we're gonna start with a little inchworm. So you just keep step touching, watch me. We're gonna inchworm it out for four. Walking it out to here, walking it back. Only four because they take a little longer. If that's not right for you, I want you to go eight, just hinge and reach. Then we're gonna take it side lunge and reach for eight. So one, two. Then we're taking it plank rotation. If you need to be on the knees, that works too for eight in that spine. And then we're gonna take a world's greatest stretch. So you can step back from the lunge, reach it up and step in. Or if you want, you can also take that world's greatest stretch from the plank. So standing or plank. All right, so most things will keep upright. You do what's best for you. We've got three minutes only with this. If you don't feel like counting your reps, you can just switch when I switch. But think of this as cardio mobility. It will get your heart rate up, but it's also our warm up round. Here we go. Three minutes starts now. You have four inch worms, and I don't want you to rush it, even though I said it is like an AMRAP. It is not as many rounds as possible. It's just getting them in in a prescribed amount of time. So we're gonna have three minutes or four minutes. And then what's fun about this is we're gonna have a bonus blast round for every circuit. We'll talk about it when we get there. We won't have one on a body weight. All right, team, side lunge. You're gonna reach and reach. If you wanna keep it stationary, you can. Take it here and here. We've got seven and eight. Plank rotation. If you need to take it to your knees, you can. But this is one. Back to center. This is two. So thinking about getting the core warmed up, but also rotating from the spine and with the upper body. We got four more. You need to drop the knee. That's one minute down. Two to go. Two. Last one. All right, bring it up. World's greatest stretch. We got eight, so four each side. Take it back. Drop it down. Reach it up. Take it through. Step it back. Again, especially with this warm-up one, your heart rate is gonna get up. So we are getting the cardio, but please 
don't rush it because we really want to get the warm up out of it. Yes, let's go four. Breathe. Three. You can also do it from the plank. Two. One more. All right, team, from the top, we got just over a minute to go. Just get what you can. Four inchworms. Walk it back and reach. Keeping this one a little shorter, most of our rounds are gonna be four minutes. And then 60 second bonus, last round. One minute to go. And breathe, walk it out. Again, cardio mobility. You should feel that heart rate getting up. Here we go, eight, seven. You can be at your own count. You can keep it stationary or step into it. Yes, plank rotation right here. Take your time getting into it. Seven, breathe, yes you can. We got 15 seconds. If you wanna go right into those world's greatest stretch to get them in, get them in right here. Step it up, reach 10 seconds. Step it up. Can you get one more each side? That's our time, but let's even it out. Yes, breathe. All right, team, so hopefully you're feeling warm. We got a little bit of those couple minutes of cardio to get the heart rate up and then that cardio mobility really to shake it out. All right, team, so I want you to keep moving, whatever you wanna to do to keep moving while I talk you through our first real complex after our warm-up complex. So one dumbbell. I want you to start medium if you can. If you need to go lighter, you can. All right, we're going skater for eight. So bringing the weight by your hip. If you're going a little lighter and you wanna take it here, but we got one, two, three. Not as fast as a regular skater that you would do without a weight. Then we got chop and knee. So we're going chop, knee. We're going four each side. Chop, knee. Then shuffle and push for eight. So four each side. All right, it's gonna be up on your screen. I'm gonna talk you through it. Let's start with that skater. Here we go. You got four minutes, eight or four exercises. Chop and knee, both sides. We go up, knee, drop it down, up. Now, if you're doing this without the weight, you can certainly go a little quicker, but we're keeping it controlled, right? We're feeling our arms working along with whew, the cardio. Chop and knee. So I really want you to think about form and control, even though it's cardio and we're used to trying to go fast, remember, Breathe, shuffle and push, shuffle and push, shuffle. So you can do a big shuffle step like this, or shuffle, push, pushing out in front. Yes. Yes, you can. Breathe. I think we did it. One minute down. If you need a breather in that complex, you can take it, like right now or you can keep it moving. Skater, here we go. We got eight, seven. Really think about getting side to side, weight to the hip. We're getting a lot of obliques in this round. We got chop and knee. Take it up and breathe. Now, I got a 10 pounder here. It's starting to feel a little heavy. Maybe I'm sore from yesterday's workout. Maybe I wanna go a little lighter and just focus on cardio. So this next round, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take it to the five. You certainly can do that or take it to body weight. Breathe, shuffle, and push right here. Shuffle, push it out. Shuffle, push. Watch what's happening. It's a little rotation, little rotation. Four, three, two, two. Minutes down, two to go. If your biceps and shoulders are burning and you want to switch it, you can. Or take it body weight. Here we go. We got eight. Ooh, that feels super light. I need something in between, right? Breathe. Ha. Remember, it is your workout. So if you 
need more of a breather, take it. If you wanna keep that weight closer to your body, to your body, more core control, or if you wanna extend it longer to get more arms, up to you. Chop, knee, breathe. Yes, team, four and four. Right side, left side. Shuffle and push, shuffle, push, or quick feet. Up to you, big shuffle or little shuffle. Two, last minute to go. Ooh, arms, I'm feeling it again. If you need a breather, take a breather. We're gonna stretch them out in just a second. Let's get it done, skater. Here we go, can we get them all in? Eight, you can count. You got your numbers on your screen and your titles. Or switch when I switch. Chop it, take it up, cross the knee, back down, up, cross the knee. Lots of core, right, on this round especially. Breathe. Other side, down, and cross. Yes, ha. Can feel a little easier on my arms with this lighter weight, but my heart rate's down a little bit. So let's take it up. Last 15. Push, shuffle. Push, still controlled. Four, three, can you get it? Two, one, and relax. Ooh, man, right? So that is the thing about a complex. I want you to step cross behind, open it up so you can stretch out those biceps and shoulders here while I talk you through your next few moves. And of course, grab a sip of water. Ooh, no, you know what we got, team? What did I tell you? We got a blast. 60 second blast. Here's what we got, team. 60 seconds, every circuit has its own blast round. 60 seconds, think of it as its own little bonus move. All you were doing is everything we just did, but one rep each. So if you got right side, left side, one rep each. So we're going one and one. Chop and knee, chop and knee. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push. Then you keep doing that one rep or one rep each side. 60 seconds only, try to go heavy if you can. This is where I really want you to push yourself with good form. Bonus, blast, complex, here we go. One and one. Chop a knee, chop a knee. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push. Back to center, here we go. One, ha. Really take your time to get into it. I don't wanna see anybody rushing into the next move, even though I know it's a lot of moving parts, right? You gotta slow the rhythm. One and one. Chop one. Chop one. Get low. Shuffle push. Shuffle push. 15 seconds, here we go. Cross and cross. Chop and knee. Chop and knee. Shuffle push. Shuffle push, five. Four, three, two, and one. Yes, team. I won't forget it the next time. We'll go right into it, but we'll give our hands a little break. So that's part, again, tap them behind. Grab water if you need it. That is part of the process with whew, this is that because you don't set the weight down or the piece of equipment down, you keep it moving. That's why we love complexes also with our weights. All right, team, so grab some water, watch me. Ooh, it looks like I only got my medium one. See if I need to run out and get the heavy one. All right, so we got a squat and a press, watch me. Squat, rotational press. Squat, rotational press. All right, we got eight of those. Then we got our march. You can either go here or you can take it up here. One, two, we're going for eight. Then you're gonna switch your side. So yes, it's gonna take some time to switch. Don't rush it. You got eight, either overhead or racked. Then we got a little pop back. We're here, clean and up. So clean, you're tossing to yourself. If that is not right for you, you can just do a lunge or a walk back and then a clean or an upright row. Totally up to you. What do you need in this moment? All right, grab that kettlebell. I'm gonna try to go heavy with this one. We got four minutes and then we got a blast round. So hang with me. Squat, rotational press for eight. March for eight right, march for eight left. Pop 
hop back and clean for four. Here we go, down and up. So again, it's your workout. Let's say your body isn't feeling the squats because you got a lot yesterday. You can, of course, just take it here and breathe or no weight if your arms are feeling it up to you. All right, team, rack it here. You're gonna march. Bring it in. Yes, it's gonna feel slow at first, but you're gonna feel how that heart rate stays up. Straight up and tall, stack that rib cage over your pelvis. Yes. If that feels like too much, keep it with two hands in between and just get it two times. Seven. Zip it up. Four. Feel how when you get higher, it keeps that heart rate up. Right. Here we go. Pop back and clean or walk back or lunge back. Four times. We got one. Drop it down. Two. That's one minute down, three to go. Remember, you can walk back, walk it up. Upright row if you want, or lunge it back two times. And up. We're back to the top. Yes, catch your breath in between if you need to, or keep it moving. Here we go. Take it low. Rotate. Low. And up. Yes, you can. Breathe. Boom. Ha. Four. Up. Three. Two. One. All right, rack it here or rack it one side. Here we go. Eight. Seven. If you want. Six. Five. If you feel like you don't have enough time to get here, keep it racked. You're going to feel it too. I want good form either way. So if you feel like you're arching your back to get into that, just keep it racked. Eight. Seven. I've put these in between those two high cardio moves to give your core some work and get a little breather. So think of it as your hit training, right? Two minutes down, two to go. Down, back, and breathe. Down, pop it back or walk it back. Pop it up. Down, walk it back. Remember that lunge is an option too. Down, and up. Slow and controlled. See if I was rushing it, I might have pulled from here. So again, I want you to take your time. Back to the top. Here we go. Squat, rotational press, elbows in. Drive up through those heels, power. Lots of power with this kettlebell, I know. And breathe. Four, three minutes down, one to go, get ready to march. What do you got team, here or here? We got eight, seven. If you're arching or that weight is coming before, stack that ribs, stack those ribs right over the hips, straight up. Again, if you can't maintain that, keep it racked here, up and up. Breathe, four, three, I have a lot more mobility on this side. This one's easier for me. Might be different for you. We got 20 seconds. Can you get them in? Here we go, pop it back. In, clean, whatever that is for you. Walk it back, walk it in, clean, or upright row. Can you get two more in these last 10? Last one, finish it out with me. And breathe. All right, team, catch your breath. Here's what we got, team, just for funsies on this round. For our blast round, we're going 30 seconds of each of those one time. So squat and press, squat and press, knee and knee. Let's go here to here so we don't have to switch it. Pop back and clean. 30 seconds there, we'll pause. We'll get a 30 second swing or a deadlift, whatever you want. All right, so 30 second blast. Everything we got one time, here we go. Down, press, down, press. Why don't you just hold it center or take it here. Up, up, switch it, I know. Pop it back, here we go. Down, pop it back, pop it in. Clean it up, right here. Squat, press, hold that weight in the center. Don't worry about switching. Four, three, 
two, let's pop it back one time. There's our time, but you can do it. And up. All right, team, so get set up for a swing. If you wanna grab something heavier, you can. Again, if that is not right for where you are today, if you're feeling sore from yesterday's workout or just lower energy, that's okay. You can just do a deadlift right here, or you can just get a little hinge stretch. But we got 30 seconds, then we're in our last round, so swing blast. Shoulders back, three, two, one. Power it up. Should've grabbed my heavier, but that's all right. This is actually good. I have to learn not to control it with my arms, right? Push into those feet, drive it up through the back of your body. We're here. Yes. Core engaged, zip it up at the top. High heart rate on this swing, one of the reasons we love swings. So we do get that heart rate up. Hup. Hup. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. <sighs> Grab some water, team, whatever you need to do after that. Maybe it's this little stretch for shoulders and hamstrings. One last round with our mini bands. Again, you can do this without the bands. You can just keep it body weight. If you have one band, you can just pick if you want lower or upper. If you have two bands, you can put them on in two places. So I'm gonna go thicker band. I'm gonna start with it at my ankles. All right, whoo. And then I'm gonna have my other band up top. I'm gonna show you your moves. You just keep moving. We're gonna start mid calf, all right? This one is a little tricky and yes, that band is gonna roll. If it starts to annoy you, just do a sidestep. That works too. But if you can, out in front, squeeze, squeeze, up, up. The trick is to keep your feet really wide so we keep those hips working and squeeze it up. I promise you mine is gonna roll up too. If that bothers you, just take it off. We got eight. Then we got a little side shuffle. We're gonna go shuffle and breathe. Sorry, double step, pull, 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 pull. Then we're gonna take it down. If you want, we're gonna go plank jacks, all right? Right through here. If you wanna keep them up top, you can go here or step out on either one. We got four minutes, then we put them all together. Eight, eight, and eight. Here's the kicker. If you want, we can switch. We can keep it here for one round, bring it up above our knees for another round. It's up to you. If you feel like the cardio is too much with the bands, just do the cardio. I don't want anybody to feel tangled or unstable. You do you be where you are today. This is it, team. Whoo, four minutes starts now. Here we go, up and up. You don't have to jump it. Pulling down right through here. Two, one, sidestep, pull back, pull back. That's one, whoo. We're gonna feel a lot of shoulders and a lot of hips on this one. I think we're gonna like it, but again, if that's not right for where you are today, you just get it, go through the motions with no bands. All right, take it to that plank jack right here. We got eight, seven, or six. Tap it out, five, four, three, two, one. Careful getting up. Again, now you got this on your hands, so roll it up if you want. Almost one minute down, three to go. Here we go. You got hamstrings. Squeeze. Hup. If you can get a little more range of motion above your knees, I want you to go for it. Like this, right? Shuffle, shuffle, yes. Three, cool burn, yes. Ha. Two more. Kinda cheated that last one, right? If you wanna take it off, let's take it off for that plank. Right here, or standing jack, here we go. We got eight, seven, or tap it out, tap it out. Four, three, two, one. Pop it in, pop it up. Catch your breath if you need to. Shake out those shoulders. Maybe we do a round with just your legs. That's what I'm gonna do. Or you keep it going. I'm gonna go through the motions here. We got two minutes down, two to go. Here we go. I move my band back down, but you can keep it above your knees 
or below your knees. Whatever feels good for you. Shuffle, shuffle, pull it in. Shuffle, pull it in, or sidestep. Ooh, mine's rolling. Four more if you're with me. Yes. Burn. Taking it down, keeping it between the knees and the ankles. Here we go. We got it. Stay lifted in that core. Tuck that pelvis. Even if that band slides, which mine is, that's okay. Three, two, one. Woo, mine's rolling up. All right, team. Ha! Last round, probably, because we got just over a minute to go. So what do you got? Can you go a little quicker? Can you really burn up that upper and that lower body? Most importantly, can you get that heart rate up? Last minute. Here we go. We got eight, seven. Again, if the band's above your knees, you get a little more range of motion. Use it if you feel a little more stable. Up. There's one. There's two. At your pace, your speed, your workout. Yes, you can. Boom. Ha. Breathe. Take it down to that plank jack or keep it up top. Maybe I'll take it up here. Here we go. We got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We still got 20 seconds to go wherever you want it. Let's do it, team. Eight. Finish it out strong. Maybe you want to do no upper and really push that lower. Here we go. Breathe, but don't trip on that other band. Yes, you can. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Whoo! All right, team. So we got a 60 second bonus, and I promise this is it. So I want you to figure out what is best for you for these 60 seconds. Is it both bands for last little burn? Is it no bands? And you just get it going here, right? Is it, whoo, one band, you decide. But we got 60 seconds, one of each, which for all of these is gonna be right side, left side, so let's do two plank jacks. Let's do it. One, one, and one. Here we go. Hamstring curls, one of each side. Shuffle, shuffle. Take it down. If you can, let's go two, one. Pop it up, right here. Hup. Take it down. Again, maybe that's feeling like too much and you want to throw away that top band? That's what I'm going to do. Here we go. Hup, hup. Yes, take it down. We got two. We got one. Whoo. Bring it up. Maybe you want to take it lower. These last 15. Hup, hup. It's a lot, right, to get them all in. Take it back. Just finish it out for four, three, two, one. Bring it in, team. Take that off. Whew. All right, little cool down. So join me here Whew. for that cool down. We're just gonna tap in front. So we're gonna do a cardio mobility cool down and then a couple quick stretches, but we're gonna keep it short so we can get in and out. So join me here, tap in front. Hopefully that heart rate is up. You're feeling those arms. Let's go over and breathe. So we don't always have to be going fast. Let's go rainbow skater or high impact to feel the cardio, right? Remember when we add resistance, whether that's weights, dumbbell or kettlebell, when we add resistance with a band, our muscles work harder. What does that mean? We're using more energy so of course we're gonna feel it a little more stretch it here we're gonna feel that heart rate up so you guys know I love a good cardio day I love how it makes us feel super important to strengthen our heart strengthen our lungs improve our cardiovascular system overall make our heart more efficient at pumping blood to the rest of the body let's do a little hamstring swoops right here scoop it but we can get that within our strength days too. We can get that within 
our, our active recovery days. We can get that in our flexibility days. Hold it here, a little stretch right here. Lean into that, whew. So, I put this car cardio day on the schedule on day two for a good reason. It gives us a little break, usually, not like today, but from the weights, or it gives us a break from the heavy, heavy lifting, right? Or the high intensity lifting. Let's take it other side. Whew. Gives our brains a break. It's something different. But please don't feel like you have to go out and do tons and tons of extra cardio. I know for years we were taught that that's what we needed, especially if our goal was weight loss or to change our size or body recomposition. Prioritize the strength because you're gonna get that heart rate up. You're gonna get the cardio. Let's take it right here. You're gonna get your body working in all those ways. Not to say cardio is not important, but I think a lot of us have believed for a long time that we need a whole lot of extra cardio. Hours on the elliptical or the treadmill or the bike, getting outside running, even if you don't like running. And that's just not the case. So. Get it in when you can. Get some higher impact for you. Maybe that's lower impact, but with some power, reach it over. But please don't feel like you have to be pushing yourself all the time, exhausting your body. Remember, recovery and rest is part of the process as well. Thank you so much for being here. Roll those wrists. Make sure you check out all the links in the description below. Like this video, leave me a comment, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check us out in the Body Fit Athletic Club on the Body Fit by Amy app. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your cardio complex blast workout. Great job, everybody.